2 Ezra 15, <clears throat> verse 19, and it reads, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world everybody calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world everybody calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning He is salvation. Bahashem, in the name, Rakah Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one Ruel who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Aguatim listen, listen, learning, sincerity, and the truth, and in silence, Shalom. Akyam, meaning brothers, Aguatim, meaning sisters, Shalom, meaning peace be unto you. This is your brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto. Here with another lesson. All right, and this post from the Wall Street, the the Wall Street, uh, this uh, Twitter handle, the Wall Street Journal, I believe it is. Uh, fair use, fair use, fair use. I'm gonna run this video. Fair use. This is for educational purposes only. But you see here it says if the powers go if the power goes out for too long, if things go sideways, it's not safe anywhere. This society that we have that stays civil, it is only possible if you can get goods and services to people and if people have access to information. Right. And this is a quote from Joe Rogan. Right. And it's not if things go sideways, it's a matter of when goes when things go sideways. Right? The time of Jacob's trouble is not going to be a cakewalk. Right, once again, fair use, fair use. This is for educational purposes and, and commentary. Let's watch. Salakia. If the power goes out for too long, listen very carefully. If the power goes out for too long, all those rules are bullshit, and that guy who will bury a body for you is yeah. the kind of person you want on your team. 100%. The also, reality if the power of, goes out, I'm probably going to show up to your place. I got a be, spot for be you. Be in the gym. Yeah. Go, can I just be in your gym? I've thought about like literally setting up a ranch out here. Yeah. Just specifically for if things go sideways. <laughs> yeah. Just well, I mean, you're, I think you're pretty set up. Ranch. This place is safe. It's not that safe. And the only thing... Listen, no amount of carnal, no amount of carnal measures will deliver you in that in that time. Right? You're gonna need Yahweh Bahashem Yahweshai. Right? And he's only dealing with his elect. Let's get a quick scripture. Amos 2, verse 14. Therefore. The flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong shall strength and the strong shall not strengthen his force, neither shall the mighty deliver himself, right? No amount of prepping, no amount of arms, no amount of homesteading, bunkers, none of that. Neither shall he stand that handleth the bow, and he that is swift of foot shall not deliver himself yet. You're not gonna be able to run the, the, the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Uh, him that handles uh, arms, him that bearing arms. It says here, neither shall he stand that handleth the bow. Right, you're not going to stand in that day. And he that is swift of foot shall not deliver himself. Neither shall he that rideth the horse deliver himself. Horse is symbolic of power. Those in power, you ain't going to deliver yourself. It's hardcore slavery for you. You, 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 beginning with you elites. Verse 16, and he that is courageous among the mighty shall flee away naked in that day, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. Right, you're gonna, Dude, uh, if things go sideways, it's, it's not. You're going to need 
the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Dude, if things go sideways, it's not safe anywhere. You, you, we have to understand that this society that we have that stays civil and, and beautiful and, you know, and equitable and we have all this change that's happening in the world, this is only possible if you can get goods and services to people and if people have access to information. It is not hard to shut that off. If the power went out in this country, if someone attacked the grid and just destroyed our power grid and destroyed our satellites, if there was a coordinated effort by multiple superpowers to just destroy our satellites, yeah. destroy our grid, we would be in chaos quickly. Pretty fast, yeah, yeah. Quickly, very quickly. And then... If it lasts too long and there's some sort of a hostile military takeover of the country, you're living in a totally different world than the one you live in now. Now you live in China and you never thought that was possible. You thought that, you know, you would be able to just exist here and demand universal basic income and you would have all these ideas in your head yeah. about the, the border walls racist and this yeah, yeah. and that. And then all of a sudden you live in a world that's unrecognizable. Right. And he just described Jacob's trouble, man. Second Ezra 15. And these are the times that are coming. Second Ezra 15. Verse 19. And it reads, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Right? There's going to be no love in that day. You see it now. The love of many waxing cold. What, 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 what more will it be when there's no power? There's no internet. There's no communication. There's no 911. There's no, there's no, there's no shipping of food. Everything's shut down. Right? Limited resources. The only resources available are going to be what was left on the shelves and what people have hoarded to, the, uh, hoarded to themselves. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. Right? Home invasions. Armed up. Bands of people. Militias. Cliques. Going door to door, seeking out commodities, food, women, water, and spoil their goods, right? Spoil, rob, take, take their goods because of lack of bread, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, right? The lack of bread, lack of food, lack of resources and great tribulation, right? A time like no other, all hell breaking loose. Right, and women, women are going to be commodity, commodities in that day. A woman by herself is not going to make it in that day. She's going to have to be under a man of the Lord. Right? Before we go there. Isaiah 13 verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Right? What man? A man of the Lord, an elect man of the Lord, Lord willing of that number. Right? The Lord's not dealing with any and anybody. He's talking about an elect man of the Lord who will be more fine, more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Right? They're going to be. Women are going. Women are. Uh, hypergamous. Right? Let's look at that word for edification's sake. Hypergamy. Hypergamy. Uh, yeah, and the news came out that uh that Rothschild Air Pass. Right? He's in the spirit world, complaining and worried about his next incarnation, man. Right? It's hardcore slavery for them. Hypergamy. Right, and this is this is woman by na this is woman's nature, hypergamy. Cl 
colloquially referred to as dating up or marrying up, is a term used in the social science for the act or practice of a person dating or marrying a spouse of higher social status or sexual capital than themselves, right? So women, women recognize power. So what's going to happen that day? She's going to recognize the elect men of the Lord are, preci are more precious than fine gold. And she's going to what? She's going to try and get with a man of the Lord, right? It says that, uh, that, that Isaiah 4 and 1 spirit, which happens on this side, man. Seven women shall cling to, the, shall cling to one man saying, let us, a matter of fact, before I butcher it. Isaiah 4 and 1, it reads, And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, right? An elect man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name, right? We want to be your wife. Let us be called by thy name, right? When a woman is married, she takes on the, 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 the name of her husband. She leaves her, her father's house. She has, a, she has the name of her father. She leaves, in, she leaves her father's house and becomes a possession of her husband. He then, she, she then takes on his name. And how is that act consummated? By the act of sex. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right? Women are going to be seeking out men of the Lord. They're going to be in hypergamy mode. They're going to be seeking protection. Sirach 32 Salakia, Sirach 6, Salakia, 2nd Ezra 16, I'm getting excited, verse 33, and it reads, the virgins shall mourn, right, virgins, right, a woman of marriageable age shall mourn, having no bridegrooms, no husbands, no men, the woman shall mourn, having no husbands, their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers, in the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, right? Men are going to perish in the wars. Their skirmish is going on now. <clears throat> but leading up into World War III, there'll be all kinds of proxy wars, skirmishes. World War III, men are going to perish. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine, right? And the famine is going to be running synonymously with the time of Jacob's trouble. No food, no shelter. Savage town out here. The law, the sword out here. People are going to be deleting people to take their things in order to survive. Verse 35. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Right? And only the elect are going to understand. The elect are the servants of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Right? Every, nobody else is going to get it. A lot of people are going to perish in the time of Jacob's trouble. Behold the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Right? And it's the men of the Lord out here uh, uh, warning. Scripture, scripture says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the Lord hath not done it? Shall evil be done, and the Lord hath not, hath not d d d do it? Let's get it. Amos 3. And the men of the Lord are warning. Of what? All hell breaking loose. Amos 3 verse 6. And it reads. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Right. In the ancient world, trumpets would warn of incoming danger. Uh, a city being attacked. Right. And who's blowing the trumpet today? The prophets. Or what, are they, what, is, what is the message? The return of our Lord, Yahweh B'Shem Yahshai, and destruction of this place. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city? Evil meaning bad times. And the Lord hath not done it right. So everything that's coming is the will of the Lord. The Lord prophesied that Jacob's trouble, plagues, pestilence, World War III, the sea hip. The Lord has prophesied that all these things must come to pass. Right? Look, last week uh, they had that huge cell phone out cell phone out outage. That's a sign of things to come. Right? That was a beta test. Second Ezra 16, verse 37. Behold, 
the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Right? This is what's coming to this place, man. Plagues being the missiles. Plagues, be, plagues, plagues being literal pestilence. Listen, the grid, the grid goes down and there's darkness. That's a plague. Thirty-eight verse, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth they slack not a moment. Right, just like birth pains, these plagues are coming. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn. Right, a time of mourning on the whole. It says here the world shall mourn. You know what it means to mourn. The world shall mourn and sorrows shall come upon it on every side, right? There's not going to be a place on this planet where there's no sorrow, where there's no sorrows or mourning, right? America the Great, Babylon the Great is going to be a zoo, man. Savage town. So with that, stay prayed up, prayed up, CC. Call Allah, Yahweh. Bahashem Yawashai, Bahashem Rakah Hakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach you on Ruwa, shalom to the hopeful elect.